Gun Shiver 1000 here. Today we're going to be installing this faucet. It's got the pull down or slash pull out uh, sprayer for it. So this is everything we're going to need and let's get into this. Okay guys, got Monkey behind me. She's going to be doing all the work. I'm just going to watch. Okay, I, if looks could kill, my shirt would be on fire. So I guess that's a no. I'm going to do it for you. Uh, these are the tools we're going to need. This comes with everything you need. Uh, this will be going on here. Now, something I want to show you guys I had mentioned before, but I really want to show this to you. See, down inside here is a rubber seal. That's where the seal is. Now, they tell you put thread tape on the threads. To me, that's a waste of time, and it's a waste of thread tape, and I'll tell you why. Because if this rubber fails right here, that little rubber seal right there, if that fails, it's not going to leak around here anyway. It's going to shoot up through here. You can't, you can't seal that once that rubber fails. So putting thread tape on this type, now some of them you do have to, this type you don't have to. So like I said, it's got a seal right there. It doesn't seal on the threads. It seals there. So you're just wasting time and resources. A lot of guys do it anyway. So, you know, if, if it makes you feel better, by all means, go ahead. But to me, it's a false sense of security because, like I said, if it leaks anywhere, it is going to leak right there, not on the threads. So the way this one is designed, you do not need thread tape. This is what's going to go up through here into the sink and hold it on. This is our weight. This goes onto, the, uh, onto that hose there and when you pull that out it keeps it from getting tangled on anything also it helps pull it back up in for you so you don't have to shove it up in which our other one did not have the weight but uh, this is the little clip that's going to hold those two lines together we'll get to that uh, a couple wrenches this is going to be to tighten these lines this one's going to be to tighten this nut here so let me get you down here and i'll show you what we're going to do first okay so we're getting ready to stuff this down in that hole there's a seal do not forget your seal okay so i'm going to sneak around the camera here and get this down into that hole now i can't show you cutting out the hole because they did it for me so i didn't have to worry about that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put this down in here make sure that rubber seal is underneath there nice and square just like that and we're going to put it on the right uh, you can put it on the left if you want but we're going to put it there we're all right handed so all right so we're going to go like this now i'm going to put you down underneath and i'll show you how to hook this up okay guys so now we're going to get this piece and we're going to put this piece on kind of weird camera angle but sorry about that so this piece your line has to run through here which will be only the long black line the long one will run up through here and this is going to go up here like that and we're going to put our brass nut on brass monkey that funky monkey that was pretty good i got monkey over there jamming with me and I lost my hat now if i can get monkey's help for a minute to hold that faucet straight that would be super de duper rubbing the mic I'm sorry I got my wireless mic on here so yeah. all right you want it straight better well it's not up to me hon it's up to you up there is it straight where you need it just hold it the way it's going to be okay right there right there okay 
this hold that in place and I'll get this snugged up. You guys want this pretty snug, but you don't want to over tighten it. You got it where you want it? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to use this wrench here. Now they make certain wrenches that go up in here and they're at an angle. You don't have to use them. You can use a crescent wrench, a regular wrench, pi uh, pipe wrenches, whatever you can get, get up in there. Um, but any hardware store will sell those. They call them basin wrenches. All right, so feel snug? Yeah. Okay, is, the, is that black washer in there straight? It's not sticking out, right? No. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to back you out. Hey, hey. I'm, Sorry. I'm working down here. She's pulling out the hose, guys. Okay, so. I was testing it. All right. So, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to put our weight on here. And that just sticks on like this. And we're going to plug this in. To this other black line right here and there's a it's like a T looking thing right here and it'll line up into this this is funky looking just line that T up in there push it in till you feel it click now here's where this little guy comes in little guy right here and this will just there's a couple holes right here I know you guys can't see but I will show you once I get this clip on okay I'll show you now right here that's where that clip will go See that clip right there? That's where it goes. There's just a notch there. Clip that in there. Now we're gonna hook hook our lines up. Real simple. Let me get you at a better angle here. Okay, now as you can as you can see these are clearly marked. The hot's gonna be on my right. So just gonna screw that out, that down in there, just like that. Now sometimes you might need two of these wrenches in this case I only need one and you want to tighten them up now I don't have the drain in yet because that's in the next video because it was easier to film and easier to install without the drain pipes in our way so just uh, give it a nice little turn there make sure this is not wrapped around your hose okay and this one's the cool wait a minute did I just do that backwards cold's on the right right yeah okay well she gets back off well I'm looking at this upside down Okay, but I'm talking about the lines, honey. Not the faucet. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, now my cold will be on the right. It'd still work, it would just be backwards and people would be burning themselves. So, unless you really want to mess with somebody's head. Hook it up backwards. I should have left it that way. Yeah, but it'd be worth it. We're going to go ahead. Now we're not going to turn this on yet, of course, because I don't have a drain in it. Um, well, I'll turn the... Uh, 
I will turn the uh, the valves on. We can't purge the water yet. So I'll be careful if you're doing this. One time I did this and I said poom and turned up water on it like that. And I had water everywhere. It was pretty funny for other people that was watching me. Okay. All right, now, is the water off up there? Yeah, it looks yeah. like it. Don't see any. Do you feel any? No? I don't feel any. I'll check. Hang on, guys. Okay, so it is off. Now let's turn these on. Make sure we don't have any leaks. That one seems to be okay. Turn them on. Let's check this one. No leaks. Uh oh, we do have a leak. We do have a leak. Okay, I'm gonna need a towel, hon. I got a drip. Yeah, really. Looks like we may have to get a valve. Let me try to. I just tightened it right there mm -hmm. and uh, I think we're okay this one's got a slight drip to it too that about right there just keep stuff from being over here from getting caught when you pull the hose out okay all right I think I got that um, seems to be okay now that over there out of the way without turning that on then pull, go ahead and pull your hose out and let's see if it's working on there out like you're going to wash something. Go back up in nice and easy. Yeah. Okay. 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 Alright, so. We're good. Make sure these drips have stopped. Up. I tighten them up so sometimes what it does right here when you get these these have been replaced about a year ago right here there's a nut right behind here big nut you just tighten that and usually that'll take care of it so all right okay now in the next video we're going to be hooking up these drains so stick around for that thanks for the help monk so you got a you got hey we got a pan. We can try this out. Got a pail. Yeah, anything. You got that pail right there that you had that was underneath there. Alright, so we're gonna get a a bucket here, we're gonna try this thing. It's got all that stuff in it.
Now they're purged. Oh, that's awesome. That's a nice flow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Nothing like we had before. Uh -uh. I'm gonna make sure I got the hot on the hot and the cold on the cold. So, yeah, there we go. That's a really nice flow. Oh, probably a good thing the water tank was going on. Yeah, okay, I got it right. <laughs> it was backwards before, but we got it. There we go. It's getting hot. So. And there's the cold. Stick it up in there, just like that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thanks for the help, monkey. You're welcome. It looks there so she much is. nicer. Yeah. Oh, not of the water flow. Wow. So nice. So now we're going to get yeah the hot water heater had it pretty yeah. well clogging up. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, so now we're going to put these drains in. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do it right now. But you guys will have to wait until I get that video uploaded, which will be right after this one. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Barely Met the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Monkey says she's out for now. Bye. Thanks for the help, Monk. You're welcome. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.